Hey beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. I know it's been a while, but here's the message from God. Be good. So God wants you to be good. Alright, so here's the scriptures I'm supposed to read. Deuteronomy 30 and 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good. And and death and evil. So what did God say in Deuteronomy 30 and 15? See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. And the message is, be good. So doesn't all through the Bible, God tells you, be of good comfort, be good. So he's telling you, the message today is, be good. And he set before thee, life and death a blessing and a curse and he set before you life and good death and evil and in deuteronomy um, 30 and 19 i call heaven and earth to record this day against you that i have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live so life is about choices i don't care what religious denomination anyone wants to call themselves but initially it boils down to are you doing good or are you doing evil because most of the major religions they all follow the five books of Moses and in the five books of Moses God that's where God gives out his commandments right thou shall not lie thou shall not steal thou shall not commit adultery and so forth and it doesn't matter what religious name that people call themselves, they all commit those sins. So initially, what it boils down to, what God gave everyone is a choice. The choice to do good or the choice to do evil. And he tells you to choose life, which is good. Right? So what it boils down to with, with living is either you chose life or death, a blessing or a curse, a choice to do good or a choice to do evil. Life is about choices. So he told you, therefore, choose life. Both thou and thy seed may live. So in all these religions, whatever people want to call themselves, are they choosing the works of life? Your, what are their actions determining life or death? So let's go to being good as God wants you to be with Job 34 and 4. Let us choose to us judgment. Let us know among ourselves what is good. Right? Isaiah 7 and 15. Butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. So this life is about choosing good over evil are you going to choose evil over good life is about choices so are you at service to god so if you're god's servant right you're going to have to be at service for him and the service he gave you is is a choice to do good or to do evil to choose life or to choose death to listen to him or not to listen to him to hearken on to the voice of the lord or not to hearken on to the voice of the lord free will it's a choice with your free will you have a choice god didn't force you you he gave you a choice and he told you what co the consequences that come with the choices that you make so with doing good you know that's life eternal with doing evil you know that's death. So you have the choice. Because it tells you Christ chose. Like he, he may know to refuse the evil. And choose the good. And what is God's message for you? Be good. And what does it tell you in Deuteronomy 30 and 15? See I have set before thee this day life and good. And death and evil. And then if we go to Deuteronomy 30, 30 and 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore, choose life. So it's about choices. Choose life. 
both thou and thy seed may live that that thou and thy seed may live so it's a choice whether you're going to do good or do evil it's a choice so whether someone wants to do right by you or not it's a choice Now, if we go down here to Galatians 4 and 18, but it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing, and not only when I am present with you. So you're not supposed to only do good when people are present with you. You're supposed to be good publicly and privately, even when nobody's looking. So let me read that again, Galatians 4 and 18. But it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing, and not only when I am present with you. Do good, not just to people who are good, but even to people who are not so good. You're just supposed to do good. It's a choice. Luke 6 and 33. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. Now, Psalms 125 and 4. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good. So, if you do good, good will follow you. Do good, O Lord. God will do good for you if you're doing good. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts. What is God's message for you? Be good. What comes with being good, people of God? Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good. God will do good to those that are being good and to them that are upright in their hearts. You have a choice. Even with a punishment, God asked David, told David to choose from these things what God should do to him. In 1 Chronicles 21 and 10. Go and tell David, saying, Thus says the Lord God, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. God gave King David three different choices on how he should punish him for sinning against him. Life is about choices. So if you make the right choice, you know good comes with that choice. If you make the wrong choice, you know you get punished. If you do evil, so life is about choices. If you do it, if you make the choice to do good, God will do good to you. If you t made the choice to do evil, you know punishments come with that. That's a choice. Consequences come with that. There's the choice. God is, it says, our Father, right? So we are all God's children. Correct, right? So if our Father who art in heaven and we are his children, should we be calling ourselves any denomination? Aren't we a child of God? Aren't we God's child? Didn't it say God's only begotten son? That is his only begotten son, but aren't you God's children? So we have to have relationship with God and be at service to him right be in his servants so when you're at service for some if if you're God's servant then you're going to be at service for him so we have to do the things that God requires which is he told us to do good right we're being at service to him because we're following what he said you don't need to be a part of any religion to f f listen and follow God's word it's a choice of good and evil, life and death. Life is about choices. So, what, what, what does it even tell you in Peter 3 and 16? Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. 
so do good. And God will reward you with good. Do good, even when no one is looking. And God's message was to be good. And to read those scriptures in Deuteronomy 30 and 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Yeah, beautiful people. So as I'm saying, be at service to God with doing what is good. Be at service to God with choosing life. Be at service to God with keeping his commandments. Be at service to God. And there's nothing anybody can take that from you because you have a relationship with God. A lot of people are chasing the religion, but they're not chasing the relationship with God and being at service to him. They're at service to their religious organization, but they're not at service to God. I think it starts with service to God. I'm pretty sure it does. Relationship with God. So, I hope that opened up your understanding and the message is be good. And I hope you're good in all your ways. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God.